What up with it, DP? Josh here with Deprived Productions with a second Quixel Mixer tutorial. And today we're going to talk about setting up materials, all different materials, and what all you can do with them and all that. In the last tutorial, we learned how to import our own model, and we're going to do that again. We just opened up a blank one right there, and we'll go down to custom model just like last time. But this time, I'll go down to desktop. I'm going to scroll all the way down to I see the word cube. Now, what I've got here is in Blender, I took a cube, and I subdivided the balls out of it. So it's got all kind of faces. That way, I can do some magic. So if you want to go into Blender and subdivide the balls out of your box... Go right ahead. Let's get started. Now, let's. We talked about just going here, going to this spot right here. This is our layers. Now, our layers on our box. We learn how to move around. You know, move, move our stuff. Well, we got these three tabs over here, right? We can kind of use those as well. We're going to talk about layers in the next tutorial. But if we just click right here, we have all of our stuff here. But if we go back and just click on this first box right here. Yeah, boy, it sends you right there. It sends you to surface because it's adding a surface layer. You know what I'm saying? But the point is, you don't have to be just surface. You have all your types here, okay? And that's what we're going to talk about today. So the first one is surface. Now, obviously, we could just grab any surface like we did last time double click it or click it or whatever and it's going to apply it to the box based off the way it was unwrapped that might be perfect and then of course you can click on you know you can turn it on and off right here with low low eyeball bro turn it on and off and then you can set adjustments like we talked about that ch changing the scale of the entire thing you know what i'm saying clicking on on that and setting it to to five thousand or something and breaking it you know what i mean but you can you know like kill it. make sure you bring your arrows back up bro get everything all all jumbled you get lost in there bro. the point is we've talked about these settings that you can go through and, and change the metalness the roughness all that kind of stuff but the point is you can click there and you can go to the surfaces which is like i said the first tab and we'll pick another one real quick like we'll just pick this bad we picked this one last time the rock we saw what it looked like we're gonna put it on this square this time okay looking pretty cool right now you'll notice one little thing i'm going to show you is like a lot of these will have displacement and you'll see that right here so if there is displacement which means it's like a tessellation added to it right here which is this thing right here if this tab isn't collect selected you won't see it but if you click it oh boom you'll see that tessellation taking place but if it's too much you know what i'm saying the Tessellation is too much. You don't want that. You can do that right there. That, that depends on your subdivided model. You know what I mean? Because it may not look good. Anyway, let's, get, let's keep going. Let's go back to just this tab right here. And instead of surface, we're going to go down to this, and it's going to be empty. There's nothing there. That's too bad. Sorry, guys. Can't show you nothing. Bye-bye. Now, the next one is 3D. It's going to pull up a couple objects. That's that's exactly what's going on. If you click that and press OK, it's going to get rid of your model, and it's going to put this thing there instead. But hey, you know, check it out, bro. We can kind of you know, take a little gander. You know what I'm saying? They did a, whoever did that did a great job. You know what I'm saying? But let's control Z that because I because that's not what I want to do and go back to go back to layers so we can see what we're doing. Okay, so anyway, the point is let's go back to the three we got the 3D. We got the, 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 the all that now we'll go down and the next one's the imperfection. Now this this one's exciting because all this is is like your alpha maps, black and white, different kind of things, grains, sauce. You got a little sauce pouring down your cube, little sauce on it, a little rust, a little, little stuff you spilt on it, sp sprayed on it, squirted on it. Now what we're going to do is going to scroll up to one of the top here, the grain, bro. One of the grains. There's several. You know, we'll, we'll click the grain, and you're going to notice, and I might have covered this in the last tutorial, you're going to notice that it doesn't show up anything, uh, and you're like, what's going on? Well, that's because the albedo and the metalness are typically not on by default. You know what I'm saying? So if we turn that on, boom, you're going to notice that we got a little some, some. Oh, okay. But the, we, got still, we, still got some, uh, we still got some checkerboard stuff, and that's actually what's going on here with this roughness. If I turn this off, you may still see it. You know what I'm saying? It's one of those things. That's where we kind of like could go into the roughness, okay? You click this bad boy right here and make it real rough. I'm saying, or not rough. Or real rough, you know what I'm saying? I will keep it like that, you know what I'm saying? That's we're just kind of toying with it. You still see some of them checkerboard patterns, so be careful. We'll talk about that soon. Let's go to the placement of this bad baby, the, or like the, uh, the 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 scaling, and you can change the way you scale it. This is this, or you could click right here, go to tiling, okay? And you can see that it really changed it, and we can change the tiling like this. You know, you can just change that to two and change that to two okay you might like that you might like the way you do it like that we have like a little more of a modeled cube here now i'm not going to lie i'm going to change the i'm going to change the uh i'm going to change the roughness that we messed with i'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull this back down because like i said you get lost bro i'm gonna go back to this roughness i have here and i'm gonna change it back to about the middle that way it ain't doing anything crazy and messing me up bro because i get scared now you'll notice that there's no normal or displacement and again we're just using one of these imperfection maps I just want to show you a couple tricks you can do with them if you turn on the normal there isn't one right nothing happens but if you drop down the arrow it's saying that it's going to basically pull from the displacement map. Oh, okay, well, that's interesting. So let's click on the displacement. Okay. Oh, well, we still don't see anything. Well, let's click on this button. Okay. Well, that didn't do anything either. So we can turn it back off for now. But let's go over here. Go to the displacement, drop it, and you'll notice the strength is at zero. So if I set it to one, boom, we have the normal map now. And, 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 and if we want to get crazy... 
We got the displacement too, right? Oh, God, not that one. Don't press it. Don't press that one, guys. It's, it's too late. I'm just kidding. It's not that big of a deal. You can just click it again. Oh, God, I'm sorry. But, but, but the point is to click on this one, and it'll actually add the displacement as well. Now, it's very subtle right now, so we probably don't need it. Actually, I, I, I need it. I need it. I, I want to look at it. Now, the point is we got it kind of set up here, so what we can do now is both of these have their own strengths. Now, since this is kind of following the displacement map, the normal isn't going to have its strength available at the moment. But you can still use it right here. You might be like, well, you can go to zero. Oh, God. oh, oh no. Uh -huh. uh, you got to be more careful, bro. I'm pressing one instead of zero. The point is there's zero. I set up to about two. You might find just like a, a point two, you know what I'm saying? Like a, a real easy kind of that's not doing it bro i'm wrong let's set it to one i like one now again you may want to turn the displacement off just wanted to show you what you can do with a couple of these imperfection multi or modifiers like i said when you go in here and go to the imperfections you'll have just a bunch of black and white maps they'll all pop up that way so for instance if i delete that one and add uh, this bad baby right here it's going to do the same thing. You're not going to see the albedo. We're going to have to go in there, grab it. You know what I'm saying? Maybe change the scale of it. I'll, I'll, I'll do the number five. Just keep it quick. But then if I wanted to add some add some love, I got to go right there, turn both of those on, go here, set it to the number one, and boom, now we have ourselves a normal map over top of that cube based off that noise, based off that imperfection material. So yeah, boy, that's what I'm talking about. Add a little displacement because we ain't scared, and there we go. Now, you can't go too far with the displacement. You know, because you might break it. And so don't break, don't break, don't break it, bro. You might just want to do that. But your normal's still out of control, homie. Now we got to keep going. We got to keep going. I'm wasting too much time. Now, let's, let's, let's keep talking. Let's go back. The imperfections go down. You got displacement. Well, you only got a couple of those here. You know what I'm saying? So, but you could add one. Okay, and then you, you, you don't see nothing there. You know what I'm saying? You don't, you don't see anything happen. I got the displacement on. You're like, well, why is it not working? Well, let's go down here to the, the, the displacement, the strength. Let's change it to the number one. Okay, cool. So you pretty much just got like a displacement map, which I said, you know, you can just use the normal or whatever. The point is you got a couple different options there. I said, not, not much going on when it comes to the displacement. Just click on your layer, delete, and keep going. Now, let's go down to the bottom one here. Let's go down to this tab one more time. The bottom one is smart materials, and this is the one we want to talk about today a lot. There are several smart materials, and what these are are a formation of layers that are kind of mathematically, well, not really mathematically created, but the people who created this program made them. You know what I mean? Like, they actually have them. They made them. They, 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 they know what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? So what happens is if you click one, for instance, click this blue one with the yellow, it's going to add a set of layers, and there's going to be several of them, okay? And you can kind of, like, do this number and kind of see them. But you can see that they've done a lot of, a lot of work here. There's a lot going on with our cube. It's got some yellow around the edges. It's, it's actually following the edges. It's actually pretty intense. You know what I'm saying? I want to check more into that. Um, and it, what's cool is you have all these layers. And when you click on them, you'll notice, here, let's, let's, let's kill our errors here, get them up, you'll see that each one one has layers and we're going to talk about that in the next tutorial adding our own layers but a smart material comes with several you can go through and you can use a little eyeball and turn them on and off you know what i'm saying and and what's cool i mean you, the, the, it, you can just literally sit here and toy with all these parameters let's delete it go back here look at it pick another one you know what i'm saying like what is what what what's what's going on right here that looks pretty freaking sweet let it load up you know what i'm saying boom oh gosh i mean that looks that looks nice, you know what I mean? It looks cool, you know what I'm saying? And again, kill the era, or, or uh, open the era up. You got your four different spots here. You got a little, little goodness, and then it really you get you click on these little these little maps, and you can get in there too. Where we got all kind of stuff to cover. I'm not gonna lie to you, but the point is, there you go. You got your smart materials, which are just next level materials. And again, you may just they're, they're really to to me they're kind of like inspirational materials like they're literally just like hey throw this on there you might see something and be like oh snap dude what is that what what it what is is that poop somebody spill poop some poop on it it looks terrible i don't i don't like that one but anyway there's your smart materials guys you know that's all that's going on there now one more thing i do want to cover before, like I said, you got all your different materials here. Feel free to toy with them, and that's it. They'll pop over here, and you'll have your different layers. We're going to talk about layers, the next material, all these different ones, and how we can adjust them and change them and stuff like that, and some more, some further adjustments when it comes to that. But one more thing you can do is you see this tab right here, and it has all our stuff, you know, our types. We'll go right here online and snap. What's going to happen is you're going to get, you're going to go online. So now what happens is you have all your different types, and you have everything that's on the Mega Scans website. And let's be honest, it doesn't matter what you need, bro. You can find. It. And I mean, not only that, there's models. It's not just, you know, I'm doing all types. If we go to just surfaces, we have a bunch of those. You know what I'm saying? There's all kind of stuff going on. Like, what is that? So I like this one, right? I click on it, right? It asks me to download it. Okay. You can see it. That is nasty, dude. That is nasty. And we're looking at 4K. We could go heavier if we wanted. 
So what's going to happen is, now that I've clicked it, it's going to download it. You'll see it here. Boom. It's almost finished here. It'll pop around to where you can you can pop around. You can move your stuff again. We're still in beta here. Oh, there we go. We're good. We're good. Now if we go back, okay, and we go to all types, it'll be in the top one. It'll be in one of these, probably in Surface. Maybe, uh, well, it's obviously a Surface. But it might be uh, in, st in Stone, bro. It, yeah, boy, we found it. But the point is it's there, and it's at the top now. It's the newest thing we downloaded. You can click on that and add that. So we just pulled one offline, bro, and now it's doing all kind of stuff and i mean dude that's just it's crazy what we can do and I, like i said i would probably toy with the scale there a little bit maybe like a, a point uh a point eight you know what i'm saying click on it point eight you know what i'm saying i'm, I'm getting a little picky i go up point six okay not bad not too it's a little 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 repeaty a little too many repeaties you know what i'm saying little peaties pit pitters. now the point is that's pretty much all that's going on in this tutorial i want to show you guys like i said get on here toy with all these crazy materials if that's not good enough for you, just get online, type in what you need, homie, and just go. This is insane that 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 we can do this. I'm not gonna lie. Like I can download that. That thing looks cool. I, I love that. That looks freaking sweet. I'm gonna download it really quick. It's downloaded. Now, that's something I wanted to talk to you about. This one is taking a much longer time. So it says it's going to take five it's at five percent. This is gonna take a minute. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna delete it. Some of these are much more heavy on resources. You know what I mean? That's what's going on there. I'm going to just pick one real quick. Look at this one. Look at this bad baby right here. Look at this one. I mean, it just looks, it looks insane. What in, the, what in the crud is happening there? That's one that I downloaded offline. It looks incredible. But the point is, guys, you have all your materials here, different ones. Like I said, imperfections when it comes to your, or displacements. You got a couple of those. That's all they give you. Imperfections when it comes to like your, you, you want some alpha maps, some noise, some stuff like that. And again, we'll start talking about how we can add our own layers and do that in the next tutorial. And then, of course, you got online if you want to do that. Smart materials if you want to get some inspiration. I'm not going to lie. Really, really cool stuff here and again they're just sets of materials that are they're using a little bit of math and we're going to talk about how they're doing that blah 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 and again you get just your surface types you have all your types all the stuff you load from online will be right there you can download anything you want and it's freaking free because you're a ue4 user bro because you use unreal and that's what's important if you're not using unreal i'm sorry this is this is you can you can buy this or something if you want but the point of using this is you have to use your Epic account. I'm sure I've already explained that to you, but for those who didn't see the first tutorial. Anyway, the next tutorial, we're going to talk about layers. Today, I just want to talk to you about all the different materials, how you could add them to it, and how you could make some adjustments, kind of like we did in the last one. Feel free to, you know, uh, ask me any questions. Holler at me on the Facebook page, Joshua Deprive Productions. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. All the links are in the description of the video. We love you. We miss you. We got new music coming out. We got new tutorials coming out. We're about to do huge, huge, big tutorials where we're going to start making a model, texturing in here, pulling an Unreal, and coding it. All one video, just like big big let's make videos so get ready for those it's gonna be cool because we're gonna use blender quick quixel mixer and ue4 or ue5 a little bit of both so there's our program lineups for modeling texturing and coding boom 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 don't be scared get some don't be afraid i'm a little scared it's okay i don't i don't hate you i'm not mad at you but i love you i miss you i want to be on you and i will see you next time peace